What next after setting up the tool? Part 2 In the previous tutorials, we covered the Monitor module. Now let's look at the Social Analytics module. In the Social Analytics module, you get in-depth analytics for all your brand's social channels as well as your competitors. Social channels can be added by clicking on the Group Settings option. Do check our Settings video for details on how to add your social channels to your Connect Insights account. To access the Social Analytics module, click on Social Analytics next to the Monitor tab at the top. Once the social channels are mapped from the Settings page, you can see analytics reports for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. You can also compare and analyze your brand's performance with your competitors' social profiles on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let us first look at Facebook Page Insights. This is a Facebook Insights report for the Connect Insights Facebook page. Here we have selected a date range of over three months. You can choose a different date range from the date range selector at the top right. Now let us look at Facebook Insights report for a sample brand page. Here we have selected a date range of the last 30 days. At the top, we see an overview of page posts by the brand, an overview of engagement related metrics, and an overview of fans, followed by a few more details on engagement, as we scroll down, we see loads of metrics that are primarily divided into reach, impressions, fans, brand posts, videos, demographics, and comments. There are around 50 different charts for Facebook analytics alone. If you feel this is overwhelming, you can simply go to custom dashboards and select only the ones you want for custom reporting. Now let's look at Twitter brand analytics. At the top, we see an overview of tweets, mentions, engagement, and followers. On scrolling down, you will see metrics such as engagement, overtime, some more charts around tweets, engagement, followers, most engaging users and influencers, best time to tweet, interfaces that you use to tweet, word clouds, and sentiment-related charts. Every visible chart gives you a key takeaway, taking reporting to the next level. And now let's take a quick look at the YouTube Analytics page. The top section shows the summary of engagement, watch time, average view duration, your top watch videos. And finally, here's the Instagram Analytics page. Similarly, you can check how your competitors are doing by clicking on the comparison options. Comparison is available for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Here's how the Twitter comparison page looks like. So that's all about the Connect Insights Social Analytics module. Do leave us your queries in the comments section and subscribe to Connect Insights for more such videos.